control your body. Which is no fun. And look, I can rapidly run up and down ladders now. <laughs> Continuity with Mega Man. And once you have the two upgrades, he's fast on ladders. Once you have a foot and uh, foot and hands, he's somehow a lot quicker on ladders. How that how that happens makes no sense, but Do they they don't even tell you that, right? No, it just, it just it, it's like that in every game. Ah. Uh. There's not a sub tank here, I don't think. If there is, I'll have found it already. Found the armor, the heart piece. Yeah, I don't remember if this is the level of the fourth sub tank or not. I don't think it is. No, I think that. Like I said, I don't like those fuckers, so you will see me shoot them as much as possible. Out of my way. Alright, let's get you nice and pink. And this one's even funner because it can go all the way up. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, to its disadvantage, it's actually really helpful to you. This jump arc is a bit more predictable. Yeah. Don't like the trash in the way. Yeah, right? But at least you still got him. Still got him. Good thing about that the charge shot is it makes a lovely spread. There's another one. I think these are the only two levels that have those green things. Yeah. That's what I was about to ask. I was like, because there's certain enemies. I mean I think well, I think they appear in one of the X Hunter stages too. At the end of that too. Or it might be all three of them actually. But I seem to recall it mainly with Sergi's. Uh, which I call Sergi's the creepy old man. Yeah. Because that's what he looks like. He does. By the way, when I saw this boss for the first time, I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Yeah, it's <laughs> like, they call him Morph Moth because he's in a cocoon when you first encounter him. And you burn away his cocoon, essentially, until he uh, hatches. And that's the whole morph property. Where he gets the weird laser ability, I have no idea. Let's go this way. Excellently done. And now the battle gets interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't last near long enough. That laser ability is so weird. Oh, well, he's morph moth. I mean, you know, they couldn't really give you a morphing ability. Yeah. Which is weird because his ability doesn't really do anything. It, it's called Silk Shot. It morphs depending on what level you're on. Ah. If you're in a, a... Like, for instance, if the weather control stage, Silk Shot is completely useless. And I'll actually show this off. It's kind of funny. Uh, in uh, technological stages, it becomes junk. <laughs> and in general, it looks like four piles of poop stuck together in a bundle. It wow. really does. Um, but yeah... It's actually plumb useless in the weather control stage, and I'll show you why. That is crazy. Because I don't even think I've ever just used that ability. I was just like, eh, I'll just X-Buster, like, everything. <laughs> oh, good. Sergi's is in weather control, and I have some shots so I can take care of it. Is that his weakness? Yeah. Second battle, it's Silk Shot and Magnemind, but... I wonder where the heart tank is. It could be up and behind you. <laughs> See, I at least knew that one. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorites. Did you know you can change the weather? Yes, I did. It's actually, that's why I really love this level. It's actually one of the coolest things. Oh, that is so amazing. <laughs> and look at the weather. Instead of raining or sun, it's misty. And it makes it so easy because, you know, how the rain kind of makes it where it's hard to jump. Now... I can go in very easily. Well, extra life. That's not what I'm doing. Now it's raining again. There's a tank. Sub tank. Awesome. Or sub tank. Jesus, Metroid, why? <laughs> Alright, time for Sergis, which I actually like to take him on this better at the X-Buster. Because this is when he's on that stupid shield car. Oh, that's right. So, all you gotta do is hit him with a big one, and then he does this stupid attack out of his head. Look at that creepy old man face. Looks like, it looks like he's gonna flash you. Right, immediately. Like, he's right. just like, ah, that's it. <laughs> and X will explode into balls, because that's just too much. Oh, oh no! Put some clothes on! <laughs> and then he drops mines. 
And that, 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 right there, that little jump he does, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in a video game. God, that is ugly. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. I'm to the point now where I can lose as much health as I want to and still take these guys on, right? How are we looking at on time over there? Uh, we are on 50 minutes. Oh, a little bit longer than I thought. Hey. If you're getting into the commentary, though, hey. That's what it was. Yeah. It's all good. Should it'll be a whole lot faster than my X1 blade, for that's for sure, so... I'm happy about that. And it's weird, the X Hunters in the English translation, they really weren't like this in the Japanese. <laughs> and we have a thunderstorm hitting. Oh, yep. Thor. Come here, Thor. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're alright. thunder. You're okay, guys. It won't hurt you. Come here, I promise. It's just Come thunder. Here. Come here, buddy. It's okay. And the dogs wanted to put their input into the commentary. Right? Now it looks like we're about to get hit with a pretty loud thunderstorm, which we're kind of known for where we live, so... Yes. No. It's okay, buddy. Oh, also, a secret to picking up power-ups, if you uh, use the crystal and then dash into them, you get power-ups easy. Holy hell. Oh, yeah, I meant to show that off. Uh, I will before I leave. Oops. Alright, now, since I'm almost here... Alright, remember how I said Silk Shot would be plum useless in this level? Yes. <laughs> what is that supposed to even do? It doesn't do anything. It inflicts no damage whatsoever. It's useless. So the, you'll t what, fucking tickle the enemies to death? Yeah, shit? I guess. And I like how these make one appearance in this level. They're just here randomly right at the end of the level. And here comes the rain. You checking the radar? No, uh, I got a text message. I want food. <laughs> yeah. Cookies. Or something. And we have the absolute weirdest boss ever. Why are sponge? Why? why they, one. Why is a sea sponge above ground? And what is up with the name? He had a different name, right? No, it was it literally translated out to wire sponge. Oh my god. Yeah, it literally god. does. If you want to look up the original Japanese names, that'd be kind of fun. I'm, I'm about to do that right now. I found that it's easier in this level to just shoot the crap out of those the boomerang-ish things, because you get them going in a good set, and they'll bounce around and hit him almost anywhere. Oh, wow. Until they disappear. I have multitasking on this one. Why am I not going to And then I love this. Eventually, I don't know if he's going to do it yet. Oh, there it goes. Oh, His creepy voodoo dance. <laughs> he blew his top. And now he just looks like a really, really... The only thing I like about it is it keeps the electricity like on. It stays constant. And I love that it, when you kill him with his weakness, there's a lovely little effect. He actually gets cut in half. <laughs> his face! He's like, well... He's either... Fuck. He looks constipated. Like he just finally relieved his constipation. It's like, oh, oh. Wire sponge stage no. Original wire. wire sponge. There we go. Just type in wire sponge. What's his name? Wire hit. Hit marl. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, head marl, and it's sponge. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. <laughs> Where'd he appear? Central computer. Nice. Is that where you wanted him? Yeah. Alright. This one's an easy... Th this is actually a very easy gate to get to. Mm -hmm. Because he... Uh, you you have to race, though. Oh. This is the... It's in that section where the, the blobs start falling and they form the level. Mm -hmm. You have to immediately race the other side of that area. Uh, ideal thing, break the shield and shoot it. Oh, shit. They even put... I'm guessing... Have you ever played all the way through Command Mission? No, I have not. See, apparently their stats are in Command Mission as well. That's what it says. 
Wow. Um, Alright, let's see. If you can get through this undetected, it makes life a lot easier. I don't think I've ever seen anybody get through this undetected. I just did. Oh shit, no way. Yeah. But you need to get undetected to get the items. Because otherwise that stuff will drop down. Yeah, and... those drop down and attack you, and it's the heart. Nice. So we're one heart away from being complete, I think. One or two. Wait, pull up your uh, next... Uh, your. I think I got two more. Okay. And there's a sub tank in this stage too. Yeah, because there's bubble crab and then there's the one in the energy crystal. I always remember this stage being a pain fucking ass. I love this stage. This one has awesome music too. Yes, it does. Oh! <laughs> what did you do? Catch your nose? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like death by nose clipping. I don't really care if the whatchamacallit sees me now, so. Yeah. But yeah, for those of you all paying attention, I actually got through most of this stage undetected. Of course, by the end of the level, uh, there's going to be points where it's really a bitch to be undetected anyway. So you were already on, uh, this is your third video already. It's actually not bad. It's perfect. Perfect. Ooh, it looks like oh, Let me... Here, There we go. Let me see what Let's try not to get my nose clipped off today. Yeah, right? <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. Just like, yeah, my nose is right there. Nope, oh, right there. my favorite mini boss. Oop, I need to go up there, don't I? Alright. Junk? <laughs> yeah, it's junk in this level. Alright. <sighs> That's kind of a really long fucking. Level. Yeah, and I gotta hit it perfectly. Ooh, Got nice. it. And that is sub tank number three. Here's my favorite mini boss of this game. <laughs> the three dimensional wireframe sword. <laughs> and stab. You're literally fencing with a wireframe sword. This is pretty ridiculous looking. <laughs> well, it's better than the gyroscope that's in three. <laughs> in uh, Blast Hornet stage, it's a wireframe gyroscope. Yep. And the uh, Sigma in this is actually a wireframe, too. His final form. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it's, it's got a deformed face. It's funny. Let me see. It, okay, it took me 16 parts to get the 100% for uh, Mega Man X. I can, it, uh, I'm not, not trying to brag or anything. I can do the first X in... I'm trying to see how long these, well, these videos are, compared to my usual standard, uh, what I do now, because YouTube allowed me to do, you know, over 15 minutes. Right. Some, they, they vary, like, some are five minutes, one's five minutes, uh, one's 13, another one's 13, some are Okay, nine. if you can get through this part unscathed, you don't have to worry about getting to the X Center stage. Really? Yeah. Because nothing's gonna fall on you. Uh -huh. Or, oh, I take that back. Oh, does it just happen regardless, huh? Yeah. It used to be different, and you gotta hope that one doesn't immediately try to fall right in front of you, because once it falls, you can't get past them. Oh. Yeah, those uh, blocks actually build up the level. Oh, wow. That's what they do, and it actually builds up the entire level and makes this really neat, that one big old flat room and this really neat little maze. It's kind of cool that way. But I'm here to fight Agile. Yep. So I'm guessing they're working you out of here. He's very quick and to the point. Mm -hmm. He's actually very easy. He's going to do like this stupid, he does this really stupid swords play, but I found if you stay on the wall, he just slashes. Oh. So, whoop. He can kind of, he's extremely repetitive and very easy, very boss mechanic. I actually have more trouble with Bit and Bite in 3. <laughs> Those fucking Bit and Goddamn Bite. Which, you know, when we get to X3, it's going to be fun, because I like to destroy them, but i got to show them destroyed and not destroyed, so we can show the six different final bosses. Mm -hmm. Because if you, you can destroy them, and it changes God Car Machine, 
If you destroy Vile, it changes that, and you gotta destroy Vile anyway for one of the Easter eggs. Yep. You don't have to destroy Bitten Bite, but you can. Yep. And that, dear folks, means that I now have all three pieces of zero. Arms, head, and leg, or arm, well, torso, legs, and head. Which is hair. That should be a part. Right. <laughs> it, it somehow reappears, and then you get to go right out this way. Uh, there is a scanner appearing that if it hits you multiple times, it hits you, turns this mini boss into a pain. Ah, so that is that what you were? Did you avoid that? No. Well, yeah. The, I didn't even. I rushed through there so fast, you didn't even see the scanner. Oh, nice. But uh, it appears, and the more he scans you, the more of your abilities he takes on. He changes color, and it makes him a lot harder. He can scan you, I think, up to eight times. Holy shit. And if he scans you eight times, he's almost impossible to defeat. Pretty much he's kind of tedious as it is, but... I didn't seem that bad. X3 has one of the most pathetic mini-bosses of all three. Of all, and it's in the water level. Oh. And it, uh... It looks like a... I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's got irons for hands. Oh, shit. And, like, when you hit it, it literally like, puts its hands up like, Stop, it hurts! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're at Magna Centipede. This boss is the one... It's kind of like Boomer Cooinger in the first one. If you don't have the torpedoes in the first one, Boomer Cooinger can be a total bitch. Oh, Lord. Because you can't track where he's teleporting. <laughs> Magna Centipede, those um, lovely... <laughs> Check Let me go check him up. Yeah. Hold on. He can use his tentacles to grab you, and he can also shoot them off of his head and use them to hunt you down, which are, makes this boss a real pain. I don't know if he's just gonna try to get me. Yeah. And if he hits you and gets you in his grip, and he can drain your health and use it to get his back. Oh my. But. He is very easily taken care of. One hit with the silk shot, and he loses his head. <laughs> he is no longer a centipede. In which case, then it just becomes a track him down, figure out where he's going to stay, and hit him with a silk shot. <coughs> he's pretty much just a ninja. Yeah. At this point. Yeah, throwing he's throwing stars and everything. You know what I'd like to see that come out of this? Oh uh, no, I didn't realize he had injected me with poison. Oh, did you uh did you know that Capcom some IPs might be being bought out by other companies? Uh-uh. Oh man, it's a big thing that's going on right now. Um everybody's rooting that like fucking Nintendo gets Mega Man and stuff like that, so Mega That'd Man be nice, because I bet Man. Nintendo would finally do X9. Yeah, right, finally. Because I mean as as good as Mega Man 9 and 10 are, I wanna see them go back to the SNS style with the X series and really give it the same treatment. Right. I mean, the X series is the most underrated series in the game. Each one, each of the others has gone into the completion. They have not finished the X series to the point where it goes into the Elf Wars, which leads into Zero. Yeah. Which they need to. I want the damn bridge. I want that fucking... I want the Mega Man to X, then I want the goddamn Mega Man X to Zero series. And I want the Zero series to launch. Well, there is kind of a bridge to Mega Man to X. That's what 10 did. Because 10 is supposed to be the last one. It better be the last one. I hope not. Because they do, or I mean, I hope so. Because if they do more, I want them to finish X, is what they need to do. Because mm -hmm. they bridge uh, Zero to ZX. Yeah. Really well. Which but. Is, oh, man, I just. I hated how Zero ended. Oh. <laughs> You're not the true Zero. What? No! <laughs> Failure. Okay, let's copy. see. I need to go back and get a couple of things. Let's go ahead and get it taken care of. Uh, energy crystal, that's right. The other than bubble crab stage, this is the last bit of backtracking I've got to do. It's fine by me. I'm just going to be editing to the point where you get what you need to get, so. Which should be here. Yeah. Alright. Ho oh, ho! Very stylish. Holy shit! Your health is higher than your uh, your energy thing. I yeah. Did not think. I, when you get all the hearts, it's it's higher. I did not even think to remember that.
You have Newports? Mm-hmm. Oh, hell, I want one of those. <laughs> I love Newports. There you go. 